That's pretty cool. So recently a company called Cora Distribution contacted me through Instagram and uh, asked if I was interested in one of their products and it's called the AFG Auto Fire Guard Fireball. And so what this is, is an automatic dry sprinkler fire extinguisher and alarm system. So they have a variety of styles of these balls. Uh, here's a smaller version here. And what this is, is a ball filled with essentially what would be in a fire extinguisher. And if the ball encounters any heat, it will disperse its contents. So it will extinguish the fire uh, when it senses it. So I was quite eager to get these into the shop. It's not common that your printer is gonna catch fire, but I am in a position where I test a lot of machines and that's always something that is on my mind. Um, there's always room for faults in manufacturing. Um, and when you're running printers constantly, you're pushing them to their max, so. Uh, it is just something that's always on my mind. I do have smoke alarms here in the shop, but uh, something like this that's more active, um, that could put a fire out without me having to worry about it, without me having to run in here and use a fire extinguisher. Um, something that will just preemptively take care of it is something I'm really interested in. There have been other systems for automatic fire extinguishing um, but they're quite expensive. Uh, these ones, I believe the small ones, which I think would be perfect for a single uh, printer, come in at $90, I think. And these ones here come in at $150. This one I think would be good for uh, multiple printers. This one I think would be good for just a single machine. Um, but I do have a printer here that's out of commission. Um, it's been broken for a long time. I've scavenged parts off it. So we're gonna stage a fire on that and uh, see how these things work. Okay, so we're outside now. Um, I've stripped everything I can off this printer. Uh, we've got just a metal bowl here with some paper and some kindling to simulate a fire. Um, and then we've got the fireball here secured with a zip tie. So let's go ahead and light this thing on fire. So as you can see, the fire did go out. It was quite uh, quite a vigorous uh, explosion that put the flames out. I was under the impression that it would be more of a slow release um, dispersion of fire retardant, but it seems like it's more of a explosion and a shock wave that puts the flames out. So. There's that. I don't know if you'd want that in your home, in your workshop, but uh, there's that. It's really loud too. So uh, thanks for watching.
you're on. Uh. <laughs> oh. My girlfriend and I really didn't like this one. <laughs> okay. So the fire is out. Um. <laughs> but the fire trucks are coming anyway. 